those are things that uh, large banks have no problem going through, but other smaller banks are being put out of business. They're talking about marijuana. Let's go back to that. Young people who are smoking marijuana. I think we have to think through this war on drugs, which has done an enormous amount of damage. We need to rethink our criminal justice system, and we've got a lot of work to do in that area. On Secretary Clinton, you go. told Christiana Manpour you didn't hey, smoke David? when you yeah. were young. I got a tweet here from Dave that says, the debate proves that we are doomed if any of these clowns win the election. And I tend to agree with that because Bernie Sanders, the so-called sweetheart, the underdog of this debate, I don't care what solutions he's trying to push on us because he's not talking about the Federal Reserve System. No. The only way that America is ever going to regain its prosperity is if we get rid of the Federal Reserve and we kind of push away from this fiat uh, currency system that we have. I mean, we're not even manufacturing anything anymore. I mean, no one's, yeah. none of the Democrats are even talking about that. The only way that we can, uh, that we've sustained this trade deficit for so long is the fact that there's so much demand for the dollar. But uh, as long as our the manufacturing sector in the United States declines, no one's going to want the dollar anymore. And we see China and Russia that's always already pushing away from it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, here's what I would say, Kit. I would say that if we pin our hopes on who is going to win the presidency, that we truly are doomed. There's not anybody in either one of these parties that's going to be able to save us. We need to understand what's happening nationally. We need to understand what's happening globally. But we need to not let a preoccupation with these presidential races, which are nothing but a distraction, keep us from doing things at the local level. We need to call out these people and say, look, you don't have any authority to prohibit marijuana. We don't even have this discussion. Where's the amendment to prohibit marijuana? We had an amendment to prohibit alcohol. Why? Because they have no authority under the Constitution. There's nothing in there that gives them authority to prohibit anything. Cancer drugs, medical treatment, nothing can be prohibited under the Constitution if you obey it. Under the Ninth and Tenth Amendment, that was made perfectly clear. So we shouldn't even have the FDA telling us what cancer treatments we should have, let alone telling us what we can take in terms of uh, medical marijuana. But when we allow that to happen and we allow them to get away with subverting the Constitution and throwing away our individual rights, then we have them coming in and dictating to us that we must take things like vaccines. Right. So when we say that they can withhold medical treatment from us, then they can demand that we take medical uh, treatment without our informed consent. That's the problem we get into when we allow them to escape the bonds of the Constitution. Nobody will call them on that. Uh, the fact that they have absolutely no authority for any of this war on drugs. We're going to have to come together and look the Republicans in the eye and say, we know what's going on. You vote against us. You are out of your <laughs> we're job. Make we're going to hear rich. from all the, we're gonna $15 hear from all the candidates now, all rich. coming up. We're going to take a short break. We'll <laughs> the candidates in a moment. All right, so they're going to take a quick break. I guess we'll take a quick break as well. We'll be right back. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. This is a protest, and this is a riot. If you can't tell the difference, then you are part of the problem. Infowars.com. You're 
liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of Detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWarsLife.com, see the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of Brain Force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're going to crash and going to feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back to our live coverage of the Democrat debate on CNN. I'm David Knight. Joining me are Leanne McAdoo and Joe Biggs. We've been covering the Democrats as they push for socialism on everything. Of course, we're going to all be wealthy if we will just enact a $15 per hour minimum wage. That and maternity leave, that's going to solve everything. Even though we have open borders, even though we have a massive entitlement state, those are the solutions. And we don't need to worry about the Federal Reserve. We don't need to worry about the multinational corporations that are negotiating these secret government transforming uh, Sovereignty destroying treaties. And don't forget no, free health care for everyone yeah, here. That's right. Legally. We're just gonna well, it's funny how they say they're for small care. business, they're for, uh, you know, small business and all that, but small businesses can't pay that kind of money. That's right. That's right. What and they, they want to do is they want to they... shut down small businesses yes. for their mega corporations that they claim that they're against, but yeah, they're exactly. not really. Yes. Yes, exactly. And then Let's they want to back. tax your miles when you drive. And then when you can't afford for that, then you have to go to your driverless cars. That's and right. you have to risk the chance of being hacked and dying. That's right. Now they're asking him. What enemy did you make during your political career that you're most proud of? I guess she's going to say uh, Jennifer Flowers. The Iranians. Um, <laughs> oh, they both had the NRA. Or, yeah. Probably the Republicans. Health insurance company. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess this is the puff question round here. That so now done. the drug companies were her bigger, biggest donors, her and Obama in 2008. Yeah. Now they're her big enemies? Uh, I would lump Wall Street and the pharmaceutical industry at the top of my list of people who do not like me. <laughs> Senator Webb? Yeah. Right. I'd have to say the enemy soldier that threw the grenade that wounded me, but he's not around right now to <laughs> talk to. All right, time for closing statement. Each of you will have 90 seconds. Yeah. Governor Chafee, let's begin with you. I guess thank he you. didn't. Yeah. Thank you, CNN, and thank you, Facebook, for sponsoring. Okay, this thank is you, just Clinton there. News Network, for the Ego <laughs> Stroke Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Brought, to Brought to you by Carl's Jr. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. This is there. The doctor who was supposed to give me a facelift and get rid of the bags under my eyes. Helping black Americans, <laughs> helping Native Americans. Well, I think we can uh, dispense with Who's the uh, closing statements here challenges. from these people because I think we've heard quite enough. Uh, we know what their prescription is. They don't want to, uh, their, their prescription for everything is more mandates. Yep. Unless it comes to abortion, there they're pro-choice. But no choices about anything else. Uh, any comments from the two of you as to how you see this? It or? was predictable. Yeah. I threw up in my mouth three times. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it for tonight. We're going to go out with a special report from John Bound. Thanks for watching. Stay with us. We'll be back tomorrow night at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for more of the nightly news. Here's that report from John Bound.
known for being the real culprits for the chemical attacks on Syrian civilians. Al-Nusra, simply a faction of Al-Qaeda at war with the Syrian government, launched rocket strikes on the Russian embassy in Damascus. The rockets were likely those supplied by U.S. forces a year ago to the decimated numbers of moderate rebels. Al-Nusra chief Abu Muhammad Al-Jalani had just called for attacks on Russian civilians and soldiers. He declared, if the Russian army kills the people of Syria, then kill their people. And if they kill our soldiers, then kill their soldiers, an eye for an eye. Jelani said in an audio recording released just before the attacks, the detonation of shells at the Russian embassy interrupted a demonstration of supporters for Putin and Assad. No injuries were reported. In the previous 24 hours, the Russian Air Force had made 88 sorties, hitting 86 Islamic State targets. In response, Jelani called on the heroic Mujahideen in the Caucasus to attack Russians. He also offered a bounty for whoever kills Bashar al-Assad and ends his story, even if he is of his own people and family. In addition, he offered a reward for the assassination of Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah in Lebanon. While Russia bombs the anti-Assad forces, Washington continues to fabricate the existence of a moderate rebel army, even brandishing the illusion of rebels with an airdrop of weapons and Toyota trucks. According to Public Radio International, when the U.S. State Department resumed sending non-lethal aid to Syrian rebels, the delivery list included 43 Toyota trucks. Hiluxes were on the free Syrian army's wish list. Ubay Shabander, a Washington-based advisor to the Syrian National Coalition, is a fan of the truck. Specific equipment like the Toyota Hiluxes are what we refer to as force enablers for the moderate opposition forces on the ground, he added. Shabander said the U.S. supplied pickups would be delivering troops and supplies into battle. Some of the fleet will even become battlefield weapons. Meanwhile, the regional chaos festers as Israel continues to attack Syrian targets in the Golan. In response to the rocket fire, IDF artillery targeted two military posts of the Syrian armed forces in the central Syrian Golan Heights, an Israeli army statement said on Tuesday. Now, the reckless Obama administration has approved arming the Kurdish YPG militia, a group that has engaged in ethnic cleansing in Syria, forcing thousands of Syrian civilians from their homes. America leads. We're the indispensable nation. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Putin seems to be challenging that leadership. In what way? What a tangled web President Obama weaves as he is smack dab in the middle of a proxy regional war that could escalate at any moment as our supposed enemy ISIS utilizes and leaves a trail of evidence of treasonous U.S. battle supplies in the wake of Putin's unyielding assault on anti-Assad forces. It's no wonder that Obama needs a, a fiction writer as the... White House National Security Advisor, because I imagine it'd be pretty difficult to explain to the public or to convince the public that it's a good idea to arm al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria. That, my friends, that's a tough sell. John Bound for Infowars.com. saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. This is a protest, and this is a riot. If you can't tell the difference, then you are part of the problem. Infowars.com. I'm 